Hello marketers, this is Brian McCarthy and in this video we will talk about marketing communications. We will start with the broad perspective on marketing, talk about a very useful marketing communications framework. We'll talk about the three key steps in developing marketing communications. We'll talk about objectives, messages, and tools, and then we will wrap up. It's important to keep a broad perspective on marketing and to know that marketing is more than just any one thing. It's not just advertising, it's not just pricing, not just positioning, it's many things and it starts on the far left of this slide with the organization's strategic goals. Marketing also happens within a context that marketers must keep in mind. The revenue profit imperative, competition, ongoing feedback and research, and of course teamwork and the organization. Today our focus is on the promotion box, also known as marketing communications, which we will define as the means by which an organization attempts to inform and persuade its target audience about its products and services. The marketing communications framework we'll use is from a book by Kotler and Keller called Marketing Management. It provides six steps that we can follow to develop a compelling marketing communications strategy. It starts with determining your target audience. Step two is to set your communication objective. Three, develop your message. Four, pick your channels of communication, also called your tools. Five, determine the frequency of the communication. And six, be sure to operate within your budget. In this video, we will focus on steps two, three, and four, which we will call our three key steps. Let's start with determining your communication objective. So what are some possible communication objectives? Well, here's a simple model called the AIDA or AIDA model. There are four key communication goals in this model. Get someone's attention, develop their interest, develop that interest into desire, and then finally communicate that the audience should take some sort of action. In marketing terms, this can mean in terms of attention, hey, we're on the market, we're available. When we think about the interest goal, it could be this is a product or service that would be of interest to you given your needs. Desire, we give the target audience enough information so that they begin to want the product or service. And then finally, we make it clear that there's no better time than right now to take that final step and buy. Now let's look at the second of the three key steps, choosing your message. Of course, we have a number of things that we want to tell our customers. We're here, you should love us, you should buy us right now. But of course, we also need to keep in mind what information is the target audience looking for. And we must remember that our target customers have a problem they're trying to solve. They have a job they're trying to get done. When we keep that perspective in mind and combine that with what we're trying to accomplish, we're in a pretty good position to come up with a worthwhile marketing communication strategy. So what are some messages that would go with each of our four communication goals? And how can we determine what our message is? Well, the good news is the hard work that we've done determining our product's positioning, our differentiation, and our value proposition are going to pay off because from those, we're going to be able to come up with the key messages we want to communicate to our target audience at each stage of our marketing communications plan. Let's use a simple example. Let's say that we are going to market with a premium bike helmet. It's new to the market. It's safe and cool looking. And we want to make sure our customers know they should get it now in time for biking season. So then our messages that would match each goal might be something like this. For the goal of getting the audience's attention, we want to let them know there is a new premium bike helmet available. To develop that awareness into interest, we want to articulate the benefits and two main benefits 
are that it is very cool looking and safer. To develop that desire to buy, we want to provide details. What colors are available? What styles? What's the helmet made out of? Where can I get it? And then finally, to compel action, we want to communicate the why buy now message, which is get it in time for this biking season. Our third point is pick the marketing communications tool that is the best fit. Let's remember where we are. Here is our broad approach slide. We've been working on the promotion box, which I like to call marketing communications. And within that box are all of the things in the marketers marketing communications toolkit. This is where we will find advertising, public relations earned media, direct marketing such as email or letters or catalogs. Certainly the sales force would be here. The sales force in many industries is a wonderful marketing communications tool. Social media, events, guerrilla, word of mouth, are all channels or tools that marketers can use to communicate with their target audience. Most of the time, we'll need more than one marketing communications tool, and integration will be key. Each tool has a role to play, and each message should be consistent with the others. How it fits together. So here are our marketing communication goals, our generic goals. Here are the messages that match to each goal. And here would be examples of a communications channel or tool that we might use to deliver that message to accomplish that goal. To gain awareness with our message that the helmet is available, we might use an online display ad on websites and blogs frequented by bike riders. To develop interest, we want to talk about the benefits. We might do that on our own website. To turn that interest into desire, we can provide details. Perhaps that happens through two-way communication via social media. And then finally, to deliver our message that it's time to take action. Perhaps that's going to happen at the retail level in the bike store where point of purchase display and sales representatives deliver the message it's time to get the helmet in time for bike season. Let's put it all together. Marketing communications is the means by which an organization attempts to inform and persuade its target audience. It's one part, an important part, of our broad approach to marketing. The keys are, number one, de determine your objective. Number two, choose the message. And number three, pick the right communication tool. In this video, we covered our broad perspective on marketing, the marketing communications framework, the marketing funnel, and our three key steps. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I'll see you online.